What's going on guys? This is Practical Pat here and kind of want to make an announcement first but here in the basement we have my uh, setup here. I'm not gonna lie that was a pretty uh... Boo, you stink! I'm just being kind of a little bit obvious here but I wanna just wait a minute. I'm forgetting something, am I? It's been officially seven years since I've been on YouTube and I gotta say that's quite a big in my book, it's quite a big milestone. You know, seven years, that's quite a bit of time to be on YouTube. Some people, maybe it's a little bit different. Others, I feel like, you know, it's about average close to. And a lot has changed. A lot has definitely changed, you know. I'm not the same old uh, person I was when I started YouTube. I'm a little bit different now, but that's all aside. Today, I'm just gonna basically give a big thanks to you guys you know, we've been here for a long time. It's been seven years on this channel. We've been here. We're gonna be taking a look at my setup here. That's kind of what this whole video is going to be about. Besides the fact that I've been on this platform for about seven years, specifically with this channel, but I've been around for a lot longer than that. But pretty much besides that, we're gonna take a look at this setup here. Now, it's more of like your average typical setup which I would say this is your starter beginning setup. It's a decent setup. I could go all out, which I eventually plan to do, but for right now, I mean, this is decent. So, you know, without further ado, you know, let's just get straight into this one, as we always say here on the Practical Pat channel. And, oh shoot, I forgot to close off. My eyes! Shit. Hold on, let me just close it out. There's a couple more tabs up by that, and I mean, I, I think we're all right, but. Uh, Are you sure about that? Shit. Hold on, let me just close it out. That that was close there for a minute. I almost uh, showed some porn on there. That I didn't mean to do that, but pretty much, uh, you know. Wait, first of all, hold on. What are we singing? Is that one of those uh, gaming chairs? As a matter of fact, it is a gaming chair. And you know what? I think I'm going to prop you guys right up on here. So pretty much what we got here is the um, typical staples chair. As you, if you want to call it that. Uh, I technically call it the staples chair. Um, I can't remember exactly the name of the company that this chair is by. Well, if I find out, I will link it or put a picture up right here of where I got this from. But pretty much this is your standard gaming chair. A lot of people actually have this chair. I know a guy that actually has this chair. Really nice, comfortable. You know, you got that leather. You sit in it like this, and it's pretty good for the most part. Nothing too uh, over the top. I don't always make my bed. This just happens to be that one video that I don't make my bed. Just to say, you know what, I'll make it right now. I'll make it right now to make you... Okay, there we go. Now you can see. It says, uh, I joined YouTube on... With this channel, I joined July 8th, 2013. And we're nearly at a million views, guys. That is just insane. Alright, so we got display one here. This is my main display. I don't normally play games on here. The only game I will play maybe is, like, Minecraft or Call of Duty Zombies or something, like, casual... Mainly, these are my two uh, screens here that I'm always like multitasking on, checking stuff, messaging people, talking to people back and forth on these two uh, screens right here. Streaming is another crucial thing with this. It's really good to have uh, two screens because that way I can read chat here or I can play a game here or I can read chat here and play a game here. Uh, that, that's, uh, that's a good screen. This is like the naughty screen. To do my uh while well, I'm like away what but, but uh oh that's nasty I'm not talking about that basically this screen right here pretty nice screen pretty decent um I really want to upgrade because every single one of these screens is under 120 hertz which is really like I want like at least 120 hertz on this screen and at least this screen that screen's all right if it's like maybe close to like a hundred hertz we have my storage device, and we can take a little look behind here. Whoa, hold on. 
Not yet. Not yet. We're not going to look there yet. Because I want to talk about the controller that I have. It's really shitty, I must say. It's a really bad controller. I really, there's, as you can tell, there's stuff that I have to upgrade. Like, I have to upgrade quite a bit. So, I'm trying not to beg for donations and money, but I need donations and money, guys. I, I just need your money, so. <gasps> Xbox Series X, PS5. Now, obviously, I'm going to get the Xbox Series X, because I'm sure majority of the people that I know are going to be on the Xbox. However, I guess some people that I know are going to be moving over the fucking PC. It took you long enough. If anything, I'm actually saving up for PC down the road, which reminds me. So we got my PC in the back here. Um, it's a little hard to... Could you not just step the fuck back for a minute? Oh, man. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Step the fuck back. This PC, this PC right here, literally you can find this for at least $600. I bought this at $800 two years ago. It's probably a lot cheaper now than it was uh, then. Now, uh, some of these, like, because this is a, I'm going to put the specs on the screen here for that here. We'll, we'll, we'll just look at the screen. I'm going to put the specs right here for this computer. Uh, pretty much, that's the gaming PC right there. Those are the specs on that gaming PC. Bro, the sun is really bright today for some odd reason. Could you f Besides the computer. We do have, what I've been looking at for a little while now is this uh, mic stand here. So, this mic stand is fairly good for the most part. It's a fairly cheaper mic stand. You know, it's really decent. It gets the job done. You know, I can just rest this camera right here with no problem. Snaps right in there. And there you go. You got your mic stand. I can move the legs up and down. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to. Because not to mention, this camera here is a fairly pricey camera. I will say the camera here on the screen here, as you see, it's a fairly... This camera's pretty decent in my opinion. It gets the job done. However, I notice audio can be a bit noisy. So I try to use something else to record for the audio. But it's decent for the most part. A bit fuzzy, but it's a decent audio. Higher resolution with this camera, the higher the pixelation is. Meaning if I record in like 1080 and 60 frames, which I'm recording in 1280 and 60 frames right now, the pixelation gets a little high and it tends to cause, especially when it causes it to get a little bit darker is what I can say. And it causes um, the frames and all that to kind of just get a little bit fuzzy and grainy and it just doesn't look good so if I recorded a lower quality I'd get a really 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 good clear picture but this is pretty clear too it is a Canon uh, EOS Rebel T4i I really want to look at this uh, just wait a minute I want to look at this uh, webcam right here this webcam is fairly uh, decent for the most part it is a Logitech uh, Pretty much uh, that, this camera right here is fairly good if you're like uh, on Omegle doing videos. If you're doing like small videos, maybe you're in a call, a group call, maybe like a Zoom call and you're trolling people. It's a fairly good webcam for that kind of stuff, even just gameplay videos and whatnot. If you need like a, if you want to put like your face on your gameplay and talk over the gameplay, or if you want to do like a live gameplay or a stream and use a webcam, that is, the Logitech is your best source for a webcam to use, I shall say. Next thing that we got is the Blue Snowball Ice, I believe it's called. Or if you're familiar with the uh, Blue Microphones, I believe is what they're called. These microphones are fairly good for the most part. They are actually coming out of their life cycle, just like the Logitech webcams. They're really kind of getting outdated to the point that you kind of have to switch this thing right here has some issues with it. That's because I don't have a pop filter. This is good for, same thing with Logitech webcam, it's good for like videos, mainly Omegle and videos if I'm like in the far, far back. Like for example, when I was uh, doing the game show videos or even, yeah, the two game show videos I have on my channel, 
I use that mic for because it picked up a longer range than the mic I have over here, which we have the newer mic here, the newer microphone. Uh, there is more of a name to it, but I'm not going to get into it. It's, it's bigger than my goddamn dick. This is a real mic, your typical uh, mic that a lot of people use when they're in the studio and they need something to like record their voice. I won't really say rappers use this. It's not really that kind of microphone if you're rapping. It's more almost like an ASMR mic to be honest because if I take this little windscreen off, you can just notice that it's a little bit like, uh, you already know it's gonna be on the quiet side. So you need a really good phantom power source. Unfortunately for my case, we have the, the Bay Ringer. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. And it's fairly decent, but as you can see, I haven't cranked up as much as I could because uh, I got this because the uh, what happens is the left side comes out more than the right side. So I had to fix it so that both sides come out clear when you're listening to the audio. It was coming out left and so right. So I had to fix that and it's decent for the most part, but the problem is it's very, very low. The mic it's very, very quiet and very low, and it's decent for the most part. And pretty much all I do is I'll end up adding the audio over, and believe it or not, Sony Vegas, I'll just enhance it a little bit and kind of smooth it out as much as I can so it doesn't sound so poppy and fuzzy. But not a big deal because, because at least if I have to use, somehow I have to use my Astros, as a microphone, which I never do, unless I'm making a gaming video, which really hasn't happened yet. Um, I'm sorry, but um, go subscribe to Path the Gamer, okay? But we have the mix amp for the Astro A40s, that's these right here. So we're gonna put these on, and pretty much all I gotta say is these are really good. I don't know if you can see the plates, that's why I kind of got these, uh, they look really cool, and for the most part, they're really decent, and nothing too crazy. Maybe I'm listening to music, maybe I'm listening to my buddies talking, and I don't want to hear anybody else. It's really good, kind of cushions everything from the outside. Now, come over here to uh, the mix amp. This thing is really sexual. See, you got the nice knob here. You know, you can move it up and down gently. Nothing too crazy, or it's going to sound really bad. You want? I always keep it in the middle here. It's it's good because believe it or not, with the mix amp here, the Astro mix amp, I should say, you get software with it that you can use on your PC, and you can use that software to change up some stuff to make it sound a little bit better. If you're playing a game and it's really loud, you can fix it out a little bit. Pretty much, you can do that all with the software. But if you have to adjust it, which sometimes I find myself doing because I got loud, loud fucking goddamn people in my party that can't shut the fuck up and turn your goddamn mic down for two fucking minutes, then you just turn this shit down and you'll be, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. In case you're wondering, uh... What the fuck are you doing? See? You see this? You see that laptop? Come, up, come a little closer. You see this laptop right here? You see it? We, we don't talk about it. We don't, we don't, we don't talk about it, okay? That lab, that laptop is old as fuck. It is literally older than I think some of you. It's pretty goddamn old. I leave it there running, and I question it every time. Let's sit back down for a minute, and uh, yeah. Seven goddamn years, guys. Seven freaking years, and we came this far. Nearly a million total channel views, and we're still at 15k, but hey, it's alright. I'm thankful that we're at 15k. It's, uh, it's been insane. It's been an insane journey from zero to 15k and it seems like we've within the past couple years i want to say not the past seven seven years but the past couple years have been insane for the most part 
You know, as somebody that started on YouTube seven years ago, I had zero clue what the fuck I was doing. I upload for basically just a fun of it. I upload because I just wanted to. Pretty much, uh, you know, it all started out just me one day. I was born, I was playing Call of Duty, watching YouTubers, and I'm like, I'm gonna start a gaming channel. I gamed for quite a few years, specifically from 2013 to about 2017. That's where I started changing stuff after 2017. I started doing more face cam videos, more streams, more like with my face in them, and talking to people and streaming and making more kind of real life videos eventually down the road in 2018, which is when a bunch changed for me, like a lot changed for me that year. I ended up changing my entire brand and everything, which I almost didn't even want to do, but just something, something inside me was like, I wanted to change just because of the fact that if you guys know, Just Life was my old name. I came up with a name, and it's been kind of a blur how I came up with the name, but pretty much I want to say how I came up with the name was just not even a nickname for myself. It was the fact that I always, when something happened, I was always like, wow, that's just life. That's just how life is. And a lot of people can relate to that, you know, things don't always go their way, and it's like, wow, that's just life. It's kind of how I came up with the name. But it was more or less not really a nickname for me. It was more or less just a name that I kind of stood by for the most part. It really wasn't something that I wanted to call myself. But it was more like something that I was like, you know, this seems like a cool name. That I would name something. And I named my channel that. As far as like a nickname for like a channel or just something that I'd give myself, you know. Practical Pat seemed the most appropriate. And this was actually me, uh socializing with some people and talking about, you know, what I would give myself a nickname as. And, you know, I've always been a goofy person. I've always been just kind of doing dumb stuff, saying dumb stuff, you know, trolling people, messing around. So I figured, you know, why not practical? And then Pat is what this one guy told me. And I said, you know what, that sounds like a good, that sounds like a good name. I used to be so sheltered, so away from the outside, but just doing YouTube for this amount of years. And getting way into it within the past three years, I want to say, it's given me more of like a comfort to like move away from just being feeling like I'm sheltered, like I'm kind of just stuck in place. It's given me something to like, you know, look forward to and to even work hard. You know, some weeks are not great and other weeks are a lot great, but that is going to do it for this video. Like I said, I wanted to make this video. To just thank you guys for everything and to just memory you know just to look back at everything and not only that but to see how far we've came to you know all this stuff that i got here you know i put the time in i got the money and eventually i just invested into you know the stuff that i, I needed for you know the content that i could create the content that i could uh do and i'm gonna wrap this up here there is one thing that i want to do look at very uh careful very, uh, not carefully, but very, uh, just close at here. This is, like, something that I really can, uh, truly, you know, think about. <laughs> Wait for it. It's so memorable, guys. I could cry. This, right here. Do you, do you, any of you realize how old this thing is? I know I'm not much of a gamer, but I use this quite often. I've used this recently. This is the old Elgato. HD capture card and I've had this just here for I've had this for years I've had this pretty much since 2014 Let that sink in since 2014 beforehand. I was using a Roxy game capture card and then I started using that That holds a lot of memories, you know from where I started out at to where I'm at now We've came quite a long ways and I think the best way to end this video is to exit out this door just thinking about everything that I've done everything that has helped me to come this far because really it took a lot of time took a lot of effort took you know a lot of time on my day just to do what I wanted to do hope you guys enjoy as always smash the like on the video comment down below give me some feedback let me know what you thought about this video let me know what you think about me being on here for seven years. Seven years on YouTube. Let me know what you think about that. And uh, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That's all I gotta say. I'm gonna head out.
see you all later. You didn't even see me do it, did you? Peace out.